The year 2014 has radically changed Ukraine. Military operations in the east of the country have shown the incredible courage of the Ukrainian people. Every day, the modern history of Ukraine remembers the names of heroes who stand guard over the peace and sovereignty of their country. The history of revival, formation and achievements of the armed force of Ukraine and Ukrainian law enforcement bodies in the special project Ukraine in Uniform. They have phenomenal endurance, good physical shape, they are easy to train, are clever and faithful. Their sense of smell cannot be replaced by robots or other analyzers. We're talking about four-leg border guards and how a combat tandem of a sinologist and a military service dog is created. Next in this program. The border service needs service dogs more than any other service. Their sense of smell is simply irreplaceable in the apprehension of smugglers and illegal immigrants in the search for drugs, weapons and explosives. Despite the progress, specially trained dogs remain the most reliable assistants to border guards throughout many years. In the current circumstances, the border service has been very serious. In the transport services, in modern conditions, illegal activities have undergone very serious turnovers. Cash in vehicles are equipped with factory-made technical devices, so it is often almost impossible to find contraband goods without a dog. In addition, many explosive devices have plastic or wooden casings or are even sewn from a fabric. No metal detector can find them. Only a service dog can find such an explosive. Only a service dog can find such an explosive. There are two groups of service dogs that serve in the border, special and search dogs. The search dogs apprehend people while special dogs look for drugs, weapons and explosives. Службова собака це така тварина, дуже віддана людині. A service dog is an animal that is very devoted to man. Their natural abilities are much greater than human abilities. The dog's sense of smell is 10,000 times greater than that of humans. For this very reason, dogs have long been used for protection of the state border and in other law enforcement agencies. Due to exceptional hearing, our four-legged friends are able to hear the violator of the state border from a much further distance than any human. The dog following the trail of the offender can catch on to their smell and the offenders will be definitely apprehended after a few hours of tracking down. In the forest, in the mountains, especially at night, it is impossible to spot illegal migrants and signs of other illegal activities. Over the long history of using service dogs, they have confirmed their usefulness and dedication to serve and protect. Sinologists say that not all breeds of dogs respond well to training, but in the future they become irreplaceable assistants to border guards. Men and dog work as one, complementing one another, but it takes a lot of time for so-called border buddies to synergize and become one. Not everyone can be a sinologist. First of all, you have to love the dog and respect it, understand its habits, needs, and be ready to help it when and where necessary. A dog is not just an instrument that does what we tell it to do upon command. It is part of me. It is my true friend without whom I cannot exist. It also helps us with our serious duties and demonstrates to us the degree to which we are dedicated specialists in our specific field. Service dogs undergo initial training at the dog training center of the State Border Service of Ukraine. The dog training center provides training for various categories of dog handlers with service dogs. Specifically, we provide basic training of civilian youth and basic training of military personnel, as both these categories of people are equally important in society. We also hold training courses for young dogs and training courses for sinologists with service dogs. Every year, violators use new tricks and covers smuggled cargoes. In this regard, new training programs for sinologists and the quadruped friends have been created and are constantly developed and upgraded. 
In modern history, the development of training is keeping pace with technological progress. Technical devices are used for training and modern imitators of narcotic substances are used for the search for such substances. The work of the dog depends on its breeds and size. Each dog has its own specialization. Spaniels search cars, while shepherds are more suitable for heavy transport trucks. Therefore, dogs of a large breed are being used on the border more and more often. Usually, those are German shepherds or East European shepherds. The size of the dog has an additional psychological effect on the offender. A large animal not only instills fear in them, it is also easier for it to run down and detain a person. Тому що малі та середні породи для стримання порушника недоцільно використовувати по тій причині, що їхні габарити не дозволяють цього зробити. От і для Of course the breed is crucial because small and medium breeds are inexpedient for detaining an offender and their sight does not allow them to do that. Large breeds are used for search services like a Belgian Shepherd or a German Shepherd. Why those particular breeds? Because they are the best among all canine breeds. They are extremely easy to train and they have a well pronounced sanguine psychology. That is that they are well balanced and calm and at the same time are active and mobile. They can perform many tasks without getting exhausted. Але в свою чергу ж вони і є активними рухомими. Тобто можуть виконувати багато завдань, при цьому не втомлюючись. The image of Border Guard Dog was always associated with a German Shepherd. Today, this breed is among the three most intelligent ones in the world. It is popular in various security forces, and especially among Border Guards. A German Shepherd is a universal dog for the needs of the department. They are used in the search for narcotic and explosive substances, as well as in mining investigations. On the border, service dogs perform serious and responsible tasks, so the requirements for these animals are very high. Such dogs are usually bold, hardy and active. Each sinologist has their own dog, which they train since the dog's childhood, and they have their own individual approach to training the dog. Адже якщо ми можемо вдало, міло виховати свого улюбленця, то це доказом того, що ми в змозі підготувати і іншу собаку не на гіршому рівні. After all, if we can skillfully and successfully train our pets, then it is proof that we can train other dogs on at least the same level. Dina is a special dog used in the search of tobacco products. She's a well-developed dog that performs tasks both in protection and special training. She can easily find tobacco in luggage, road transport, автотранспорт, в ЖД вагонах, так само на тілі людини, в одязі під ним railway cars, clothing and on people. She can easily chase down and stop any offender. The most difficult thing is the approach you take to your pet. If you choose the most appropriate way, you can train your pet in a relatively short amount of time. Обравши найкращий для кожного із них, можна в найменший час найякісніше підготовити свого улюбленця. Staff Sergeant Levitsky with his service dog Lara have been working together since 2012. She is more than a true friend to him. Lara is specialized in the narcotic drugs and in the Lara's specialization is to search for narcotic substances and tobacco products. I love dogs, they are my inspiration, so I wanted to combine my hobby with my work. Dogs are special in that they love their owner and understand them. They live as one. The dog feels its owners and vice versa. Собаки особливі тим, що вони дуже люблять своєго господаря і розуміють його. Це як одне ціле, тобто собака відчуває людину і ви відчуваєте собаку. By the way, service dogs are often the household pets of border guards. Accordingly, the synergy between them is much better. Each dog needs its own approach. Both human and dogs requires an individual approach, so it is necessary to find a specific trait of the dog and find the right approach to it. Border guard dogs live on a strict schedule, the frequency of food intake, order of their service, and of course everyday training so that the dog doesn't lose its professional shape and form. The search for dangerous substances is like a game for border dogs. In training, sinologists use so-called planted items, which are substitutes for drugs in a special package, which the dog perceives as a toy.
An especially difficult task for border guards dog handlers is the protection of the eastern border of Ukraine due to constant attacks and explosion. And that is a very tough trial for service dogs. Despite all the difficulties, the dogs must overcome any obstacles, run long distances very fast, and obey only their owners. First, there was a situation that arose in the eastern section of our border. Since 2014, our training center has trained more than 3,000 troops and more than 90 service dogs for the needs of the eastern border in the Alta Zone. The Sinological Training Center conducted the training of 10 combat units that were sent to carry out combat missions in the Alta Zone. There also were innovations in the educational process that prepare the future border guards to work in a special risk zone or territories where there is heavy combat. New programs have been introduced for mine detection dogs for the needs of the ITO zone, for determining territory and settlements, and for entry and exit patrol service. The specialized so-called Combat Commandant's Quick Response Office has been created on the base of the Sinology Center. The the main objective of this unit is the fulfillment of tasks along the eastern border. Service along other parts of the border is also difficult. Border patrols in western areas are having a particularly difficult time dealing with their tasks due to the large numbers of smugglers. In situations when traces are found but the violator has already disappeared, a dog handler comes with its service dog to assist in tracking down the offender. The dog will always follow traces on any ground. Border service requires exceptional endurance, highly professional knowledge and constant maintenance of the surf skills of service dogs. That is why professional dog handlers are trained at the dog training center of the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine. I have recently got this dog in the nursery. He was trained at search dog courses. The courses have come to an end and the dog performs its task just fine. It finds hidden offenders by following their trails by the smell. The dog is especially used for the apprehension of offenders, guarding certain areas and searching for casings. Precise execution of commands, speeds, agility, the four-legged friend has found and apprehended a smuggler. A large animal is an additional factor of psychological influence on the offender. A border dog is trained in such a way that only the command of its dog handler can make it act. Therefore, the dog is not dangerous for other people. Of course, a lot depends on how well they train their dog. But the main factor is probably the breed of the service dog. A whole department is dedicated to that at the dog training center, specifically at the service dog reproduction department. The main task of the service dog reproduction department is a reproduction of highly bred dogs for the needs of the border department. The main breed in our department is the German Shepherd. They constitute approximately 70% of the puppies we reproduce. All the breeds that we reproduce are the Belgian Shepherd, Labrador, Spaniels and Fox Terriers. Labradors have primarily been bred for the needs in search of explosive and mines. Hunting breeds, spaniels and fox terriers are used in searching for narcotics and explosive substances and weapons. Puppies that are born in nursery undergo special testing at certain stages of development. At two months of age, they are checked for their type of nervous system. Their future specialization depends on that. And only then they are assigned to a dog trainer. The more temperamental puppies are trained for searching and apprehension. And the phlegmatic ones are trained to search for mines, drugs and explosives. The very first training of puppies takes place under the strict control of their mother. Little puppies repeat all the exercises with her. Primary training begins with the imitation of the behavior of the mother. She is taken with her broad to a small obstacle course. First the mother goes through the course and then the puppies imitate her. We also employ games with fetching items, toys and balls. The mother encourages the puppies to play.
By the age of eight months, the puppies should be healthy, socialized, and have developed basic obedience skills. So the training of puppies in the nursery continue until they're transferred to the dog handler department. There, they complete their training and are sent to serve on the board. The Service Dog Training Center is a unique educational institution. Service dogs are trained here not just for the border guard services, but also for all law enforcement agencies of Ukraine. Despite the development of technology, a modern service would be very difficult without dogs. So dogs truly do provide substantial assistance to the border unit. The most pleasant thing in my work is when the dogs show results and sinologists see the result that, he, that they achieve during the training of their dog. When the dog finds something, some forbidden things, when the dog wins competitions, those are probably the most pleasant moments for any sinologist. The heroes of today's program protect the state of Ukraine, its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The Ukrainian army is doing everything so that civilians would not have to take up arms and to prevent all of Ukraine from being turned into a frantic shooting gallery. In closing, we wish you peaceful skies and see you in the next program.